Okay, so here's, here's my project and I want to show like the first application uh, after I've created my uh, my sets. These are search sets that I'm looking at. Um, now just to make this a little clearer, I've also got a save view that um, lets me look at the MEP system or the MEP system with hot and cold water. So I'm actually looking at a particular location in my file just by virtue of the fact that I did a, a right click and saved this as a viewpoint. So what I want to show you is that a new option that's in 2012 is the appearance profile. And what I'm going to do is just go through uh, one of two options that are here which is to use the, to adjust the size a little bit. I'm going to use this by set, right? So look at, looking at my uh, sets of objects that are in the project, let me make this a little bit bigger. Um, if I pick, say, the cold water system, let's see if I can position this on the screen so that you see it. And I say test selection, you see it's finding all of the line work that represents it's actually a little more than line work, it's actually got the pipe. But this this cold water system, so I can always say test selection to see if it found it. I mean, I can't go down here, because it's the cold water system, I'm going to say, why don't I give that like a magenta color? Um, and then I can give it a transparency if I want. But what I can say now is add that to the, to the list of and the appearance profile. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger just so you can see the data as it appears up there. So if I come down and I find say my uh, hot water system I'll say test the selection and then I'm going to go down here and say make that a nice red color and add that to my uh, appearance profiler um, and uh, running this so that it's applied to all of the options that are in my model. If I now say that I'm done with this, right, so if I uh, close it out, you, you see that the uh, the objects have been colored according to what I had in the, the appearance profile. Let, let me do one more here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this in the model itself and uh, pick it and I believe let's see if I can find it in here it says interior plumbing so I'm going to pick the two of these so that I've got both selected and then what I'm going to do is say you know let's make them say a, a green color but I'm going to adjust this value to say make it like 50, maybe 60%, 63%, let's go 60. Transparent, add this, and uh, I'm going to get out. And so the, the point of that was the blue because they're selected, but when I when I do a control shift A to, to oops, sorry, I could have a different product, I'm going to click on something else. Just click on the search set here to um, Turn this off. Uh, I didn't see it. Hold on. Let's go back to what happened. Oh, I had it under hot water system, not the not the option that I wanted. That's not clever. Let me. So anyway, chance to learn from it. I can delete it, and then what I'm going to do is that's just the hot and cold water system. I'm going to hold the control key and pick the two of these. Um, see if I can figure out what they are. Did it say partition, I think? Yeah, yeah, partition walls there. So test selection. No, nope, there's plumbing walls. There's the plumbing walls here. Then I'm going to add it to my tree and save it out, pick something else. So now I've got uh, transparent walls. So the, the point here would be that I'm able to see uh, fittings through the walls uh, 
because I've got the ability to assign transparent uh, colors. Uh, one last thing on there is that you see that you can load and save. So I could save this out again and say uh, conference center uh, example save it out and that way again when I only need to create this one time and then bring it in in another project that has similar systems and um, I don't need to reinvent the wheel every time I, I come in here.